So you do need dry run of your 22 millimeter build and you've screwed the piston nose onto the rod that you've removed from the OEM piston. You'll notice that the rod doesn't screw in all the way. I'll just try to get it to focus, there you go. You'll see it's a bit shy. You need to measure that depth and it needs to be between four and five millimeters. This one's bang on 4.5 millimeters. That's just fine, it's by design. There's no need to worry that the rod's not screwed in all the way. This is using the OEM Mark III piston rod. So, do your dry run. Make sure that the rod goes in at least to a depth from this, from this front face of four millimeters. Anything between four and five millimeters will get the job done. This one's 4.5. I've basically machined the threads inside the nose longer than what's needed so that the thread bottoms out as you screw it in. This was to make life easy for self-build. Some come out at 4mm, some come out at 5mm. Anyway, this one's 4.5 as you see there. So, as long as it comes to that, you're fine.